Okay, hi booktube, Aaron here, hope you're doing okay. Today for Poetry Thursday I've got a poem for you by, um, by a poet I wish I knew a bit better. I've read a few poems um, when I was at university and uh, stuff like that. Um, and I, I like quite a lot of it and um, I thought I'd share with you probably his most famous poem. Um, so I'm looking at uh, Andrew Marvell um, and the poem is To His Coy Mistress. Um, and it's one of those great sort of carpe diem uh, poems. Um, it, it, at its most basic, it's a guy asking a girl to, uh, you know, stop, you know, sort of making, or, you know, stop dilly dallying and you know, just sort of let's go to bed, <laughs> essentially. Um, and yeah, so it's a very lusty, angsty poem. Um, but there's this knowledge of of death in there. Um, and just this really wonderful, expansive uh, language as well. Some really great lines, um, even if there is the odd bit that might get you raising your eyebrows for various reasons. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll just go into it. Um, and um, yeah, um, it's got a great first line as well. So I guess you'll hear that soon enough. To his coy mistress by Andrew Marvell. Had we but world enough and time, this coyness, lady, were no crime. We would sit down and think which way to walk and pass our long love's day. Thou by the Indian Ganges side shouldst rubies find. I by the tide of Humber would complain. I would love you ten years before the flood. And you should, if you please, refuse till the conversion of the Jews. My vegetable love should grow vaster than empires and more slow. A hundred years should go to praise thine eyes and on thy forehead gaze. Two hundred to adore each breast, but thirty thousand to the rest. An age at least to every part and the last age should show your heart. For lady, you deserve this state, nor would I love at lower rate. But at my back I always hear time's winged chariot hurrying near, and yonder all before us lie deserts of vast eternity. Thy beauty shall no more be found, nor in thy marble vaults shall sound my echoing song. Then worms shall try that long-preserved virginity, and your quaint honour turn to dust, and into ashes all my lust. The grave's a fine and private place, but none, I think, do there embrace. Now, therefore, while the youthful glue sits on thy skin like morning dew, and while thy willing soul transpires at every pore with instant fires, let us now sport us while we may, and now, like amorous birds of prey, rather at once our time devour than languish in his slow chapped power. Let us roll all our strength and all our sweetness up into one ball, and tear our pleasures with rough strife through the iron gates of life. Thus, though we cannot make our sun stand still, yet we will make him run. So there we go, that's To His Coy Mistress by Andrew Marvell. Um, and yeah, it's just a, I think it's a brilliantly structured poem. I love sort of poems like this that's, well, if the time, you know, if we had all this time, I could just spend age upon age uh, just, you know, thinking about every part of you and, you know, the last part being the heart and, um, you know, sort of all of that sort of ridiculousness. Um, and then it comes back to the reality that, you know, one day, one day they're going to die um, and, you know, um, all of his vir uh, yeah, virality is just going to be dust, you know, they're both going to be uh, just food for worms. Um, and so, you know, let's enjoy, our enjoy ourselves while we're still alive, while we're still young, while we can. 
Um, and there's a lot more, I suppose, to it than that. Um, but I love the, the energy of that, that last couplet. Uh, Thus, though we cannot make our son stand still, yet we will make him run. You know, almost that um, you're taking life with so much, so much gusto that, that, that just time has to catch up with you. Um, I think that's, yeah, it's really great. So there we go. I'll leave that there for today. Um, hopefully I'll be back for another uh, Poetry Thursday soon. And hopefully I'll get a little better acquainted with Andrew Marvell. Uh, but for the time being, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.